at three quarter inch minus a setback, which gives me 0.583. So 0.583 inches plus a bend radius, 0.125. And that's going to give me 0 0.708 from each edge. 0 0.708 inches, sight line one, and I'm just going to make a mark on this side. Since this is symmetrical, I'll make the same mark on the other side. Sight line two, sight line three, and sight line four. Now, you don't need to make these other marks on your uh, aluminum, but it helps for you to understand if we go ahead and put in our bend tangent lines, where the bend is going to begin and where the bend is going to end. Our bend tangent lines are at 0.583, so our bend is going to begin at 0.583. And it is going to end at 0.809. There we go. So the black mark here is where my sight line is going to be to bend this, and the red lines are where my bend is going to begin and end. Notice that the black line is in between the two red lines, and it always will be on a 90 degree angle. But it's not exactly in the center. You need to measure it out piece by piece. Let's bend it. Okay, so over at the bending brake, I have my 1 8 inch bend radius call on the bending brake. And I am going to line up my black sight line with the edge of the bending call. Now, I pulled 1 8 an inch off of this sight line, so this is the one I need to put underneath the bending call. And I'm going to get that black line lined up and then I'm going to come down and lock this in position. Now if you look this black line is too far out. This black line is perfect so I'm going to loosen it up just a little bit. I'm going to fiddle with it until I can see exactly half of that black line when my face is exactly on top of the sight plane. So I can see just half of that black line and half of that black line Everything looks good. I'm ready to lock it down and bend it to 90 degrees. Now, where is 90 degrees? If I stop it exactly straight up, it bends, it springs back some. So I need to go just a bit past 90 degrees to get to where I want it. And in the end, I can kind of do a little massaging it with my hands to make everything come out exactly perfect. There's our first bend. The second bend will be just like the first except I didn't even bother on the second one to put in my bend tangent lines. All I've got is sight lines.